Let's examine some of the early reviews for the upcoming film release of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore on this episode of Out Loud Geek. Welcome to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss science fiction, fantasy, cooking, the outdoors, and more. The third installment of the Fantastic Beasts film series, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, opens in theaters one week from today on April 15th, 2022. The film sees the return of Eddie Redmayne as Newt Scamander, Jude Law as Albus Dumbledore, troubled actor Ezra Miller as Credence Barebone, though Miller's acting career appears to be on hold now, as we've discussed in an earlier video that should be linked above, after Miller was arrested in Hawaii last month after he allegedly attacked bar patrons and made threats against the couple he was staying with, whom he also allegedly robbed. Also returning is Dan Fogler as Jacob Kowalski, Catherine Waterston as Tina Goldstein, Allison Sudol as Queenie Goldstein, and Calum Turner as Theseus Scamander. In a controversial move, actor Johnny Depp, who played the villain Gellert Grindelwald in the first two Fantastic Beasts films, was replaced with Mads Mikkelsen by Warner Brothers after various allegations were made against Depp during his ongoing divorce from actress Amber Heard. Early reviews from critics that are available on Rotten Tomatoes are decidedly mixed, as the film's current tomato meter score is 62% with 74 reviews. And the overall critics' consensus reads as follows. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, avoids some of the pitfalls that plagued its predecessor, but lacks much of the magic that drew audiences into the wizarding world many movies ago. Diving into some of the individual reviews, let's see what some of the critics had to say. Tommy Wollaston of the New Zealand Herald, who gave the movie a score of 3 out of 5, wrote the following. While Secrets of Dumbledore does have more moving parts than it knows what to do with, and may be a little too much to absorb for younger audiences, the cast manages to fumble their way through and deliver a convincing enough tale. Top critic Sandra Hall of the Sydney Morning Herald who gave the movie a score of 4 out of 5, wrote the following. It's a very solemn premise, but the producers are right in claiming that the director, David Yates, has tried to inject more fun into the story this time round. The magic is back. Jane Nelson of the Radio Times, who also rated the movie with a score of 4 out of 5, wrote the following. There may be two more movies left in the franchise, but it's hard to feel they're needed. The Secrets of Dumbledore works as an almost perfect trilogy capper. This is an interesting review since the original plan for the Fantastic Beast films was that it would contain three films. It was only later that it was up to five films. Perhaps producers who aren't sure how well the third installment is going to perform wanted a film that could potentially end the film series if Warner Brothers chooses not to move forward with two more films. Critic Amon Warman of Sci-Fi Now, who rated the film with a score of 3 out of 5, wrote the following. The superb opening scene has a spark that you wish were as evident in the rest of the film. Aaron Neuwirth of We Live Entertainment who rated the film with a score of 7 out of 10, wrote, While Crimes of Grindelwald was a disappointing low point for the wizarding world at large, I am happy to know these secrets were worth sharing. Another top critic, Leia Greenblatt of Entertainment Weekly, who scored the film with a B-, wrote, Beasts remains a strangely liminal experience, born from a fantastic universe but still searching for a magic of its own. The first negative review I'll read comes from Paul Whittington of the Irish Independent, who rated the film with a score of 2 out of 5, and wrote, While Secrets of Dumbledore looks very nice, it's a drudge to watch. 
Well, he didn't mince his words. Another negative review came from Graham Tuckett of Stuff.co.nz, who rated the film with two and a half out of five and wrote, Dumbledore starts off slow, sputters occasionally into life, but never really threatens to become an engaging or particularly entertaining film. But George M. Thomas of the Akron Beacon Journal, who rated the film with a B, wrote the hesitantly positive review, Director David Yates succeeds at the seemingly impossible, pulling this franchise from the abyss, giving viewers something to, to look forward to, potentially. But Jeremy Jans, who writes for his own jeremyjans.com website, wrote the following negative review. I hope Mads Mikkelsen has a great chiropractor on speed dial because he is going to have some hardcore back problems for carrying this entire movie on his shoulders. Grace Randolph of YouTube channel Beyond the Trailer wrote the following positive review saying, Cloves does a great job refocusing the story, putting Dumbledore and Grindelwald front and center where they belong. Jude Law is finally on his way to creating one of the greatest blockbuster film heroes of all time, a very romantic and political film. The final review that I'll read is by Tanya Lamb of Lola Lamb Chops, who gave the film a score of 3.5 out of 5 and wrote, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore is a delight and the best film in the franchise. It's a fun, family-friendly adventure that brings the magic back to the muggles and wizards alike. A little slow and messy, but it's heading in the right direction. I personally hope that I'll enjoy the film when I eventually watch it. I've liked the Harry Potter franchise since I was first introduced to it 20 years ago, and I have enjoyed the first two Fantastic Beasts films overall. Please let me know whether you're planning to see the film in the comments below. Thank you for watching today, and thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button below, and please feel free to share a comment. If you would like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please subscribe right now by clicking on the red subscribe button below. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.